Alright guys, how you doing? So, this is part four of the racing lawnmower build. We're going to be taking back the old belt that I got before. If you saw the last video, it was too short. Uh, so, we're going to be going by track supply, getting a new belt, putting it on here, and actually driving this thing around. Alright, let's go. Alright, so this belt is an 85. This is an 86, which is what I had. So, I think I'm going to get this 88. I hope this is going to work. I don't want to have to run by the store again. All right, so there we go, got the belt on. It fits perfect with the clutch out. And when I push the clutch in, it fully loosens up. Now, I'm, I think this might slip off or pop off, but whatever, I don't know until I try it. But I'm so happy I did not get the 89 inch because 89 inch would've been way too long. I think the 87 would've been perfect, but they didn't have any. all that does is is when you push the clutch in see the belt can't fall down there and even with it completely off like that you let the clutch out it'll go right back on the pulley so that way i have to get off 800,000 times to put the belt back on
All right, so this thing quit on me again. I'm not really sure what the insane problem is, but yeah, I got to push it back again. It did do better though. All right, guys, after a bit of messing around, I figured out what the problem was why the engine cuts off after about maybe 20, 25 minutes of running. is because the fuel tank cap wasn't venting any. So when I would take that off, it would run a little bit, then it would just stop. All right, change of plan. I'm gonna get the original throttle and put it back in here like this and put this part back on here so that way I can use this lever right here as the choke. Look, this is kind of crap I gotta deal with. All right, so finally got it done. Uh, not insanely structural supported, but it'll be fine and it'll work for now. I also did kind of polish this thing up a little bit and it does look pretty good. I think it works. All right, so in another video, we're gonna be doing a pulley swap on the front, a uh, couple of little odds in, other things. Don't, not really fully sure at the moment. Brakes are kind of non-existent, so we're gonna have to do something about that. And definitely gonna lower it, but probably not. Probably won't be next video because I still wanna have fun with it right now while I was working. Then, then we'll lower it and Go super fast. So I got this golf cart okay, my buddy's it. making right here. Yeah. It's gonna be epic when he gets done with it. <laughs> yeah. I heard that. Come up. Yeah. I don't know if the belt's slightly out of alignment. I don't know. It looks pretty aligned. Yeah. I'm just I'm just happy it runs. Really. What, what's that that What's that thing down below right now? Is that that's for the uh, uh, that, that's for the blades? That's for the blades. All right. Yeah. So you can't run that. No, well, you could. If you could, I wonder if I could flip it up, upside down and have the bigger pulley on the top. That's what I was wondering. Or that, I, don't, or either, I don't know if the belt's going to fit in there. Or either let that thing run something down here and, and come and have a yeah. have a pulley coming up that, or, or that make, comes up and measure this. Like, if you get some acid on that right there, it'll clean it up. Yeah. yeah. Wait, wait, what'd you say again? The Slim Mobile. Either yeah. The slim Pickens. <laughs> Give me nothing to comment, so what we should call it? Yeah, the slim. So this thing literally went from a pile of garbage <laughs> sitting outside <laughs> to, to a, a halfway to a halfway running lawnmower. <laughs> that it still needs more work, but it has potential and it's worth yeah. continuing. It's a definitely a drag cart. Flip them upside down. Yeah, I believe that I was. I'm, I'm probably just gonna do what cars and cameras did. Cut that off. Weld something right here. Weld weld the spindle on and belt the wheel. On. Oh really? Okay. And then the rear end back here. Uh, just cut some part of it out right here and move it up here and then cut that part out and add a jack shaft with a bigger oh, pulley. So, so that way, that way, it right here. that way it'll increase even more top speed. Yeah, yeah. you can cut that cut that off and drop that down. Yeah. I think what you're gonna wind up having to do when you get ready to do it is put a, a chain drive on it when you get ready yeah. to really run it, you know, if you wanna do that. Uh, yeah. But that, I mean, that, that right there works great. I don't but, know. Uh, I mean, I can always get another lawnmower and just have like a torque converter and a chain yeah. with like a 670, which I really do want a 670, but that'd be way too much money though. For, but, are you talking about V-Twin? Oh, yeah. I mean, those things are $800, yeah. eight, nine hundred bucks. I now, mean, you can buy you, a car the performance motor kits, The performance kits are like, dang, 1300 maybe something? Yeah. I, don't, I don't know if it's quite that much, but probably like a 1000 or so. All right, when you get ready, let's start it. Oh, yeah. That thing run like a champ, man. <laughs> Got you reversed. Look at that. All right, guys, so happy this thing moves. I wrote it a lot more off camera. I just filmed a bit of running footage. I'm sorry if it was very crappy, but you know, you try to ride on a lawnmower and film. This is gonna be fun. Front tires, Mike can put slime in those and get away with them. Uh, steering is very sketchy, even at 17 miles an hour. Hope you like this video, you click all the buttons on YouTube and say to click, if you didn't like this video, click on thumbs down twice. And yeah, y'all should see me in the next one.